Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sink Into Madness. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm doing fantastic, guys. Today is episode 7, and I've got a great episode planned for you, as always. Thank you guys for all of the love on this series and Hermit Skies. You guys have been doing an amazing job showing support on this video, so thank you so much. Also, welcome to the new three or 4,000 subscribers we've gotten in the last week and a half. You guys, you're been pretty cool. Welcome. We got cookies. Anyway, anyways, guys, hashtag question of the day. I'm going to keep it simple today. What is your all-time favorite holiday? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really like to know what you guys think. Mine? I'm going Christmas. I love Christmas time. It's my favorite. Anywho, as always, if you guys enjoy this series, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Uh, today... Uh, is episode 7, so episode 5 had 250 likes. So we're going to be doing... Eh, oh, good. There's about a whole little buttload of stuff in there. We're going to be doing 5 chance cubes. Let's quickly... Quickly empty all this out, though. Because otherwise, we're not going to be playing very smoothly. So I want to start doing the chance cubes a little bit further away from the base so they don't, uh... Like, leave a ton of lasting implications like the last world. That was pretty bad. Uh, it was just super, super laggy. Okay, I think we're good there. All right, so let's go ahead and grab these chance cubes. Got a great episode planned for you guys today. I want to apologize for the late uploads today. Um, I actually woke up around 9 a.m. this morning, and I just, I really did not feel all that great. So I decided to lay back down, and I took some medicine, and it just, like, it literally knocked me out. And so now it's like 3.40 and I don't have a video out. And it's like, yay. And now is not the time to be missing videos when the channel's doing so good. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, I guess this island right here will do. Let's get these bad boys finished. And I just... Wizards. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was crazy. There was no island there. It was just like a hidden thing. Is this a is this too close to the base? I like I said I don't want to do them too close to the base anymore. Let's just fly out this way. That was <laughs> that was kind of creepy to be honest with you. That was a little creepy. All right, so you know, one thing I've noticed about this season so far is there's not a lot of uh, I was gonna say there isn't a lot of these like little islands around anymore. There we go. So. Is my chat off? No, why does my chat always freaking do that? Oh my god, that's annoying. Alright, I have no idea what it said, so I'm gonna do another one. There we go. Ooh, oh, TNT. I think I get a diamond from that, don't I? Yeah. And magnet moon. All my settings are, like, different. That's weird. Maybe it's from the stream or something. <laughs> that's favorite uh the bro broken path to succeed <laughs> that's funny there we go Whoo! thank god we can fly now boys thank god we can fly because i just jumped right into the water oh man oh quartz hello quartz i will be grinding you today say hello to jevin the person who will be making you into flight food <laughs> Pickles! We should grab... If I have a net, I'll grab pickles. Ooh, diamonds. I'll take those. Why, hello there, diamonds. Come with Jevin. I'll be your new father. Ow! Thou has been smitten! Nothing? And then... Hmm. I don't think I have enough stuff to make a safari net. Or any way to grab mobs at all. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I think I might have... I was going to say, I think I might have a safari net from the bags. So, let's go grab Pickles. Save Pickles' life, because Pickle deserves it. Pickles is a cutie pie. Take my... Thank you. Pickles is now safe. He's safe. Okay, what's it going to be? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on two seconds here. There we go. All right. What's it going to be, baby? What's it going to be? Nothing? Oh, an enchant table. 
All right. I noticed how fast I fly with this uh, pet thing. Oh my God, this thing is OP. Boy, don't you know who I am? Yeah, you fly super fast with this. There we go. Oh my God, dude, are you freaking kidding me? What is the deal right now? The RNG continues. We just found a wither pet, man. Are you, dude, there is something up with this world. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, there is one thing I want to try real fast. Uh, I want to find that grinder and the pressure plate that we had. And I want to see if I can grind this or take the gold one. And there's the grinder. So I have those six blocks. I'm not sure if you can grind those back up, though. All right, let's take that out of our inventory. Put the gold pressure plate on top because that's the best one. Put, can you put these in there? No. So is there any other way I can like... So a sag mill works, a pulverizer works. But that's the only thing. So it doesn't work in this one though. Okay, so once we get some machines up and running, we should be good to go. Anyways, let me uh, cut real fast. I want to get all the bags together so we can open those. And we're going to move on. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to do today is I want to expand this. It needs to be bigger. Uh, the way that it's working now is it's just going to clog up and get broken every time. I also realized that I didn't finish two of the chance cubes, so let's go do that really quickly. I'm just going to go to the slime island. I just visited the, the slime island a second ago. As you can see, I kind of wrecked it, but uh, I want to make sure that there's no slime, liquid slime falling down. Um, that stuff can, can really cause lag in a world, so we'll make sure we get rid of like all of this. Try to fill all that in, but um, let's finish these two chance cubes up and then we're going to make the spawner bigger. But I have to come and check that out. Anyways, let's do these two chance cubes there. Ooh, gargantuan drum. Or demonically. Oh god. Okay, time to grab another uh time to grab another uh net because if I don't, you guys are gonna freak out. Doctor has made a return to season two, guys. Oh yeah. Let's quickly grab ourselves a net. You there we go. We'll have to do something with these guys soon, I think. That'll be fun. <clears throat> okay. There we, uh, there we go. Okay, so he has been taken. So let's go ahead and start upgrading, um, upgrading the spawner. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is basically just take the top off of it. So make sure that no mobs can spawn inside of it. There we go. There we go. All right, so once all the mobs are dead, which it looks like they are, um, I mean, I like kind of how it is now, but I just want to make it bigger, I think. So I like how I liked how that was right there, but I do want to make it go back further. So there and then let me put this on my bar just in case these birds try to get feisty with your boy. I'm going to probably remove the back. Oh, this pickaxe is so good for flying. There we go. So something like that. So then now we just need to think about how many spawn spaces we want to have. And do we want it to make it higher? <laughs> like how they just fall down into that. So I think that's what we'll do. So let's go higher. Put that there. Put that there. So we'll go here. It makes it to where they fall down into a too deep hole. Because we need them not to be able to swim or f to fly up. That is dangerous, man. And I think I'm actually going to remove this from the sides here, right? Like, I'm going to remove this from the sides. So that way we just have wood here like that and now i just got to decide on sort of how big i want to make it 
Um, and then I will finish the rest off camera because you guys have seen me build a thousand mob spawners before. There is no need for that. So this time I want to do a little bit of a bigger spawner, I think. Um, so something, yeah, maybe a little, a little bit bigger, maybe like five back because there's going to be two sets of plates, the punji sticks there. So something like that, I think. Dude, this thing just breaks through everything. All right, so we'll probably go something like two, three, four, five. Something like that, and then maybe on the sides do the same. Four, five. So that'll be pretty big. So I've got to go grab more cobblestone, and I'm going to work on this, and I'll be back once I have majority of it finished. Okay, I'm just about finished with the spawner. I just have a few little things left to do, and I figured I would come back now and kind of show you what I'm working on. So first off, I need to make, uh, let's see, we made vector plates. I need to grab those. We have enough for the first level, I think, but I don't think I'm going to have enough for the second level. So let's make some more. There we go. Make like, yeah, that, I think that might be enough right there. So I made two levels. Now last, uh, the last season we made one very similar to this, but this one is more like ergonomically friendly. It's a lot easier to use. So we've got that. I'll need cobblestone to cover it. And then I think that's about it. So let's see. I'm going to put I'm going to put a set of blocks right here. Let's kind of fill that in. We're going to need to put something right here. I'm thinking we'll probably do half slabs again. Uh, those are very, very good for blocking light and making the spawner actually dark. So. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably have to put like a slab right here, I think. There we go. Hmm. Maybe, oh, you know what? I think I put them on the wrong side. There we go. Let's put them up here instead. Now, once that's all closed in, that should work just fine. So there's just a little, with having flight, it makes working on this thing so much easier. So, so this is the first level, and then I wanted to make a second level, but I don't think, eh, I guess, I mean, I guess I could. Here, let's do this first. Let's see sort of how well this is going to work first, and then we'll decide on the second level, because we need to make sure that it's going to work good before we do anything else. So let's go ahead and get these vector plates in. Not to mention, if we make a second level, there is no way our little single chest is going to hold all that, so we need to get better storage, too. There we go. Too bad our RNG on the... You know what? I should probably do some loot bags. <laughs> my uh, my RNG lately has been godlike, man. If I can if I can get one of those diamond storage pieces, then... <clears throat> we'll be Gucci. There we go. All right, so that fills all that in, and then just uh, kind of fill this all in, and we should be good to go. <sighs> there we go. I need to check and see if there's any easy quests we can do. See if we can get another diamond storage piece. There we go. So that should make that uh, dark. Let's grab the torches and just make sure that nothing's going to spawn up there. So F7... It's kind of funny, like, although I have, <clears throat> although I have this flight, um, I, I don't feel safe at all. Like, I've almost died, like, four times tonight, or, or today already, like, just by mobs, just, like, hurting me. It's been crazy. All right, so are we working? <clears throat> it's definitely dark in there. Let's grab all this out of there. Let me go ahead and drop a bunch of this stuff inside the, uh, inside the quest. So, all that... And then we'll put the bags in here. I've been saving my bags. There we go. Okay, so we'll do these bags in a minute. So let's see. I want to keep this here. Keep this here. Put all that away. Put all of that away. Put all that away. Put you there. Put you there. Okay, fantastic. So I don't see any mobs yet. 
Oh, no, there goes one. Okay, perfect. So, <clears throat> first things first, let's go ahead and open all of these up. We need another chest. And then we're going to check the quest book to see. So we got, got some decent goodies here. We got another pair of boots, another carbon thing, some diamonds, obsidian's good. What are these? Summoning podium, random things. Okay. More Irish lucky blocks. All right. Not bad at all. What's the enchantment? Thorns. Okay, sweet. All right, let's go ahead and put all this away. And I want to look at the quest book now. Grab all that. So we have we have a good amount of iron now. Pretty excited for that carbon too, to be honest with you. All right, uh, quartz. There we go. Okay, so quest book time. <clears throat> That's one thing we need to make. We need to make the search bar. My throat is not doing so hot right now. Quest book. There we go. Grab you. Open sesame seed. So we still have the taco, the turret, the table, uh, and some other mobs. Are these repeatable? I guess so. Hmm, that's not good. We don't have very many opportunities for loot bags. What does it take to... I think I don't think I have enough for the diamond one. That sucks. How much has been put in here so far? Wow, that's very fast. Okay. Um, let's actually see if we can make that diamond taco. Or that, that taco. I don't know how much spice I have though. Okay, so what do we need to what? Oh, first off, what taco is it? It's a diamond tier taco, so we need to have spice in our inventory. I've only got two spice, so I will not be able to make that. I think I need like at least uh, four in total, so that's not gonna work. What are some of the other ones? Just killing mobs and making a turret. So tier one base. Can I make that? So there's that. Now, naturally, I'm not going to get what I need from this loot bag, but eventually we'll be able to craft the storage thing. But right now, no. All right. Uh, then it needs a potato cannon. Potate. You. Close your eyes. There. This one's pretty easy to make. Two of those. So there's the cannon. And what is the last thing? Just a basic turn crank. Crank. There we go. Alright, so that completes that one. Claim reward. Come on, diamond storage. Oh. Can never get those diamond storage things, man. Those things are so hard to get. And I don't think there's any other quests. I mean, I could add the other quests back in. I need to start, what I need to start doing is adding more quests to this book now. Um, that way we can get some decent loot bags. And I can't really do any of the other ones. I don't remember, I guess those aren't completable. Huh. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, guys, so now I wanna work on two things at once. First off, we are making iron. Let me grab my ingot cast for that. And we can actually automate this now. So let's go ahead and make a redstone clock. Um, this guy, if I have everything I need. So I'm missing a redstone torch for that there. Put that in there. Okay, so take that. Put that right uh, there. Is there not enough space right there? Uh, here, let's remove that. Put that right there. But then I can't really access my forge if that's there. Huh. Okay, so we have tons of iron going in there. So the reason why I'm making iron is because the first thing I want to do today is I want to make the search bar add-on for this. So we're going to need a compass. So we need at least four iron for that. We need a lot of iron, though. Put all this in there. Do I have any iron nuggets? Doubt it. Actually, I do. Wow. That worked out pretty well. There we go. So let's make the compass. There we go. Grab you. Put that in there. 
So what do we need for that? We have the compass. We need the two iron blocks. We need the storage box. So that takes care of that. I am pretty sure I have three enchanted books. Yeah, I'll grab three of these. I don't think the books actually matter. The only thing we need is just iron blocks. I might switch that over to the basin. Go a little bit faster there. Quickly remove that. See, having a good pickaxe is awesome. <laughs> In some instances, having a pickaxe that destroys everything, sometimes not very good. All right, let's put this back. I'm going to have to find another way to automate that. Grab you. So there. Let's going to make us some blocks. We need two blocks. So while that, that goes on, let's put this stuff away. So I need to get lead. Um, I want to automate the, the lava for this, but it's empty, as you see. So I was thinking there's got to be some sort of like fluid duct I can make because I can't make the conduit yet. So I was thinking this right here, this is opaque fluid duct, but I need lead first. So let's check our spawner, which is completely full. Yeah, we need to uh, we need to figure out storage for that pretty quickly. Yeah, I guess if anything, I could probably just uh, let me just put all that away. There we go. So let's grab the lead that we got. And I'm just going to smelt this for now. Is there anyone that has any coal in it? No. That in there. Okay, how is our iron doing? Pass that. We need one more block of iron. Actually, I think I'm good. So the search bar should be finished. Search. Caps, what are you doing? And then we need enchantments. There we go. So there's the search bar function. Where do I want to put it? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to move one of these and wreck my entire base. There we go. Crap. Crap. <laughs> Can't stop breaking stuff, man. There we go. There we go. Move you, put you back. Okay, so we have everything we need there. So now that the search bar function is enabled, that's going to make our life a lot easier. So now let's go ahead and grab our lead. And we need to make the fluid ducts. I think we're actually going to need to make um, another thing too. So fluid, make these. And then I'm going to need the wrench. I think it's the crescent wrench is the one I want. Yeah, make the crescent wrench. Okay, so I don't have iron or tin. Um, I know I have iron blocks though, at least one. So break that down. And I need to check and see if I have tin or not. Oh my God, I am not doing good with that. So let's check and see if we have tin. We don't. Okay, that's a problem. I can't make the wrench, which I need it to be able to control the pipes. I don't think we've gotten any tin ore yet. Hmm, maybe I can make another wrench for it instead. Put all this in there. What about like this one? And that's just iron. I'll try that one. And then I, I'm almost certain that I'm going to need a servo. What is that missing? That is... Oh my god, Tin, you are killing me, bro. I don't have any Tin. What does Tin drop from? Maybe I can kill a mob. <clears throat> tin ore, Tin ore. Drops from Ender Eyes. Which we should be getting. We're below, below level 70. Man, that's bad luck. Well, I don't know if that will extract from that. I guess we could just set it up and try it. I mean, so we need our cobblestone generator and you and you. So down here is where we need to be. So how do I want to set this up? So let's remove these. 
Um, so the cobblestone needs to go into the top of the crucible. I think I'm actually going to have to go underwater for this. <clears throat> you. Okay. I don't actually. Hmm. Let's see. If we were to remove that block right there, we could make that work. Or we could put it in the water. I don't really want to go underwater, to be honest with you. It makes me nervous. So... What if we remove this and then put the crucible right there? Put you right there. And then we would need the lava or the cobblestone to go into the top of that. Now, this is probably only going to be a temporary setup, but I don't think I have a way to move that cobblestone either. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to automate this today. I think we're just a little bit too far behind on the technology tree to make that work. That really sucks. I wanted to automate that. I just don't think there's a way for us to do it yet. We don't have what we need. That really sucks. All right, guys. So since we don't have 10, we can't really do anything. Still don't have 10 in there. Man, that sucks. Um, but I didn't realize it had already been 28 minutes. So <laughs> I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, guys. This is iJevin. Peace out.